got some orders going out this afternoon, so I'm here at the wet spot catching people's fish. so many fish and I tell them catching fish is easy once you get into the right mindset. That mindset being you gotta think like the fish. Inspecting, making sure they got all their fins, their eyeballs, uh, and basically are in good, good shape, good fish. I've already met Lewis, I've also got Joe and Kate on this side, and we're going to show you how we get fish from us to you. So you can see here I'm dumping out some water, trying to get the right amount for shipping. And once I have the right amount, a polyfilter cube goes in there. If you're getting shrimp, they get a little net to hang on to. And if you're getting a wild feta or gourami, they'll get a little fake plant. And we'll head over to the gassing station here. This is where another quality check is done. So I'll check the fish. If I haven't put a polyfilter cube in there, I will put one in there now in, the, if I case, in case I forgot it. And then uh, they get gassed up with 100% oxygen. They get tied up nice and tight. And then they're on their way to get double bagged. from us a lot of times we'll actually leave them in a bucket prior to putting them in the bag so that they can leak any toxins out if we put them in the bags they're almost always going to also have carbon in there as well to absorb any other sort of uh, toxins that they might produce Sensitive fish that you order from us are going to be bagged individually. Things like any of your Cipacronus or larger Tanganyikans are going to get their own bags. upright position so that the bottom of each bag fits really snugly. That way there's no place for the fish to get caught in. It also helps prevent any leaks that might happen. Sort of an osmosis thing if you will. If there are any spiny fish, particularly spiny fish, sometimes they'll get bagged uh, three times, four times, maybe even five if we're really worried. But all those bags help keep the water in should any of them decide to break open.
This is gonna be the shipping sheet. This helps ensure that we are checking off each fish that goes in the box, as well as tells us how many uh, heats each box is gonna need for that day. So here you'll see the final to last quality check, making sure the fish are good to go, the right amount, the right kind. They go into the box. And then uh, everything is uh, checked over before it gets wrapped up. So as well as having the amount of heats on the sheet, we also write it on each box. So that way we can ensure that each box is getting the proper amount. Once we got the fish in the box, if you need some extra packing material in there to make sure that the fish don't swoosh around, we uh, put that in there and then we fold each side up individually, uh, pack it around the bag as well so that it's nicely insulated. See each side going down in there, get a little bit tucked in towards the bottom. Once we're satisfied with that, we get a little sticker to go on the top. And the heat pack here gets opened. The adhesive comes off the back, so it's got a sticky side there that we attach to the middle of the top of the lid or the part that's going to actually touch the inside of the box. Um, it gets adhered nicely, goes on top there. And you got your invoice and your warning sheet. You're on the very top of the box so it's the first thing that you see. Here we get the shipping label put on after it's been weighed and once we make sure it's nice and adhered, don't want it coming off, goes to the pickup area for UPS and it's on its way to you. Thanks for watching the Wet Spot Tropical Fish online sales video and we look forward to talking to you soon.